All right, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do a Cuba link in Blender like this one. All right, so here in Blender, all we wanna do is get rid of our defaults. Now, I'm gonna go pretty fast. I wanna just straightforward, show you what needs to get done to be able to get this um, final result, right? So. What you want to do is shift A, we're going to add a curved circle. And uh, once you have this, you want to go into edit mode by clicking on tab. We want to R, um, X, 60, enter. R, Y, negative 60, enter. R, X, negative 60, enter. And um, on this last point, we want to R, Y, R, Y, 60. And you should have a, a shape like this one. If you go and click three on your numpad, you should have a uh, um, an infinity uh, symbol like this one, right? So once you have that, next thing to do would be, let's give it some uh, thickness. So go into object data properties, bring down this geometry tab right here, and the uh, depth do about 0.30. That usually works. Um, and uh, what you wanna do after that would be the resolution, bring it up to 11. The uh, render, bring it up to uh, 36 and this will give you a better resolution in your final render. All right, so now what you wanna do is click on the object, right click, we're gonna convert this into a uh, mesh. And uh, once you have this, you wanna shift A, we're gonna add a uh, cube really quick, uh, scale it up so it covers the whole shape. Go click number one to go into front view, G, Z, or Z, to go uh, uh, be able to uh, move this on the Z axis. And just bring it up, I would say somewhere around there it works, and uh, scale it on the Z. And so G is that to bring it down uh, again. So I'll tell you somewhere on there. Now what we wanna do is we wanna duplicate this um, or mirror it. And to do that, you wanna select on the cube, go to modifiers. We're gonna add a mirror modifier. And uh, with the eyedropper, you wanna click on the link. And uh, un uncheck the X and check the Z to for it to mirror on that object, right? Like so. All right, once you have this, all you wanna do now is click on the uh, link and uh, you wanna go to modifiers. We're gonna add a uh, Boolean. And uh, with the eyedropper, you wanna select this um, uh, cube. And once you do that, uh, you can go ahead and turn this off and you'll have, you'll have a piece of the link like this one, right? So what you wanna do now is, while clicking on the uh, link, you wanna control A on top of that Boolean to apply it, or you could just simply click on this drop down and apply. Um, so once you have that, basically you get rid of this um, cube over here. And now what we want to do is you want to go into um, edit mode. We want to go to three to face select. We're going to select this face right here. Shift D to duplicate it. Right click to uh, be able to put it back on in position. And uh, you want to go and, and click on P to separate by selection and go back into um, object mode. So now we have this piece right here by itself. Um, and uh, you want to right click to let it go back into position once more. And so once we have that, basically what you wanna do is go into top view and you wanna scale it down so it does that. But then you have a problem with that. So to solve that, what you wanna do is you wanna right click and set the uh, origin to geometry and you wanna scale it down a bit again and you'll have the perfect um, scale up and scale, scale down uh, uh, thing going on. Now that you have this, what you wanna do is you wanna uh, GZ to bring it up on the Z axis. And um, once you do this, you wanna go into tap mode or edit mode, should I say? And uh, once you do this, select the face, E to extrude, bring it down like so. And um, you could go back into object mode and you'll see that it's overlapping our link, which is what we want. Just um, again, just do maybe GZ, bring it, I would say halfway, somewhere around there. And uh, once you have this, the other thing you wanna do is you wanna go back into edit mode and you wanna get rid of some of these lines. So um, for example, if you click on this one, we don't need two lines next to each other like that. So all you gotta do is click on one of them uh, but you gotta go and click on number two and uh, you'll be able to select the, or just simply go up here and click on the uh, edge, edge select. And so once you select one of these lines, control X to get rid of it. Um, and we're gonna do this around the whole shape and we're just gonna clean it clean it out. So I'm just gonna speed up this whole part so that we could cut, cut down some time on, on, on the video. All right, so basically now what, we, what you wanna do is you wanna select this object right here and select the link and control P and uh, parent to object. So now if we move this object, it'll move, it'll move the whole thing, right? 
So now that you have this, you want to R, Z, negative 45, and it'll move this way like this. And so you also want to go make sure that while selecting the whole thing, you want to control A to apply the um, rotation. And so once we do this, you want to select this piece right here. You want to go to modifier and you want to add a mirror modifier. And so we're just going to mirror it, mirror this shape to this shape over here by just simply selecting by with the eyedropper, this shape right here. And so you'll have this going on right now. Once you have this set up like this, uh, what you want to do is click on this um, link uh, object and you want to go and add a boolean modifier and with the eyedropper select the shape once more so once you have the boolean set up all you want to do is click on the base here turn it off go back into the link and make it go from exact to fast so basically once you have this piece you want to click on it right click shake smooth and you want to go to your um, object data properties and uh, bring down this normals auto smooth and you have a nice um, link like this one so now it's about time just to add the uh, diamonds inside of here and to do that is very simple all you want to do is shift a and on match you want to add a circle uh bring this up right here add circle bring that up from 32 bring it down to um eight and uh you want to go and um click uh slash on your numpad to hide everything else but that shape that we just added that circle and um if you go and go into edit mode and click f to fill it up and have a face um, then we're going to be able to click three, click on that face and extrude it. So E to extrude somewhere around there doesn't, doesn't have to be specific. And uh, you want to control R to add a edge loop right here, right click to let it go back into its original position. And uh, once you have this, you just want to scale to scale it up. And uh, while holding alt, click down on this edge loop right here and scale it down even more. Very, very uh, tiny. So if you click period on your numpad, you'll be able to zoom in just like that. So scale it down as much as you could. I'd say somewhere around there. And then just zoom out once again. And that another thing you wanna do is G set to bring it down like this. So you'll have more of a pointy, longer diamond. I think in my, in my opinion, it looks better. Even though it's not that important, but you know, just for the sake of um, composition. So then you're gonna have another um, edge loop by control, control R and uh, just click on there, drag it down as close as possible to this um, other edge that we have there and uh, scale it up. And that's just gonna give you more of a, you know, pointy look on the diamond. I like it personally. So yeah, once you have this, what you wanna do is click backslash on that numpad and um, it's gonna unhide everything again. And you wanna scale this, scale this down as much as you could, right? So. With this, you wanna go ahead and find the best position of it inside the link. So GZ to bring it down, you don't want it to be too high. Um, I would say maybe somewhere around there. And um, if you do this now and you go on top view by clicking seven on the numpad and GZ and drag it somewhere back here, um, you wanna pick out a, a nice big size for the diamond. And uh, we're gonna spread it out um, on the whole uh, shape that we got going on here. And after that, we're gonna go and make a smaller version of that diamond and spread it out even more so we add some details to it. So I'm just gonna spit up this whole process, but it's pretty much just shift D and um, keep duplicating and you know, just make a nice composition of it. So follow along. All right, so again, like I said, we have our diamonds right here, um, the big one. So now all you wanna do is, while going on top view seven again, shift D, I'd say somewhere around here, make it very small. I would say maybe somewhere around there. And uh, you just wanna shift D and click, uh, keep adding and spreading out these small little diamonds in your uh, canvas. So I would say maybe something like this. And uh, yeah, and if you want, again, you, you also have some space in between here. So just keep going in and out of that top view because um, you'll be able to actually see what you're doing. So just shift D, keep adding little diamonds around the whole composition. I think it's just gonna, it looks better when you add these uh, small little details into it. So I would say maybe somewhere around there, no more than that, I think that's cool. So now that you have this, all you wanna do is, you wanna go ahead, select the whole thing, while holding shift, select that diamond right there, and all you wanna do is control J to um, merge them all together, right? Once you have this, of course, now you're gonna wanna go and uh, mirror this to this other side, and to do that, all you wanna do is go to modifiers, um, apply, uh, apply a uh, mirror modifier, and uh, it's right here. And uh, with the eyedropper, you want to select this object right here. And again, it's just it's going to mirror it um, across the um, link. And once you have that, all you want to do is go ahead and apply it. 
and uh, you want to go ahead and click on this shape click on the link control J to merge them so they're now just one shape and so basically we already have our link set up um, now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and R click on the link RZ 45 to have it in a 45 degree angle and uh, once you have this we want to go ahead now and add the um, material so for the material select on the uh, link you want to go to uh, uh, shading and on shading you also want to make sure that you go to material properties on this tab down, uh, on the side and you want to go and click on new and uh, you want to go ahead and uh, click on this plus sign to add another material tab click on new as well so for the type one what we want to do is we want to rename it to uh, let's say metal and to the bottom one it's going to be uh, diamond so first we're going to do the metal uh, material and for that all you want to do is bring the uh, metallic all the way up and the uh, roughness I would say is to about 0.2 and um, what we're going to do is go into edit mode by clicking tab so basically what you want to do is while hovering on top of the uh, link object anywhere whether it's this side this side it don't matter just click L like so L click on on top of the uh, link and then you want to go control E to um, inverse it so we're going to invert the uh, the selection and once you have this all you want to do is click on this diamond uh, material assign it and uh, you want to go ahead and bring down the roughness all the way down and the uh, transmission all the way up and uh, the IOR do somewhere around uh, 4.2 and uh, you'll have something like this so if you go out of uh, uh, edit mode and we go into render uh, viewport and uh, let's say we, we're gonna add a uh, HDRI so just go to the yellow dot environment texture as I said before all you gotta do is go to Google and search up um, HDRIs for free and you'll find a whole bunch of them right so I'm gonna bring in mine right here and this is what I got going on right now um, once you have this go back into layout go back into render viewport and um, really quick what you want to do next is shift a we're gonna add a uh, curve and we're gonna add a bezier right with this bezier you want to uh, click on this link uh, the, on the link object you want to go to the uh, modifier and we're gonna add really quick a um, an array modifier with this array modifier, all you pretty much want to do is um, go to fix count and you want to go to fit curve and we're going to select the uh, bezier. Once you have that selected, you want to go to modifier again. We're going to add a uh, curve really quick and with the curve, with the eyedropper, select that bezier once more, right? Now that you do that, you want to scale this down a whole lot. I would say maybe somewhere around there and you want to control A to apply the a scale and you'll have something like this going on. If you encounter yourself with problems like this one where you have your shape getting um, distorted, all you got to do is select on your shape and uh, control A and apply all transforms and you'll have this going on now. Once you have this, another thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and while holding shift, you want to click down on the X factor and you want to just lower it a bit like so. Um, so you actually see the, sh the, the links uh, connecting with each other like so. So again, you want to go ahead and look at the whole link all around to make sure that there's no weird overlapping going on but I think we're good with this um, setting so once you have this another thing that you could do now is click on this curve go to tap mode or edit mode um, click on your um, toggle x-ray right and uh, what this is gonna allow you to do is if you go back into solid view um, you'll be able to see the curve um, um, over the uh, link and so basically if you click if you click on one of the points of the uh, curve and you move it you'll be able to move your um your your uh, necklace or your chain or should i say cuban uh, cuban link so basically um you could basically just grab uh, uh select on one of the points g to grab move it make it longer um you can go ahead and e to extrude and make another another piece like this r is that to rotate it like so and uh yeah basically you could do a lot of things with this um, if you want to have the the uh, the chain uh, connect, all you got to do is select the end point from this side, select the point from this other side, and click F to um, make them join together. And so basically, um, to give you guys a pretty cool um, view of the uh, chain or render, should I say, all you want to do is we're going to go ahead, go to render viewport. Um, you want to go into, uh, instead of EV, go to cycles, just because it's going to help you with the um, reflections on the diamonds but make sure you have gpu selected because if not your computer is just gonna crash it's not it's not gonna work so basically we have this thing going on another thing i like to do is i like to go ahead and uh, go to the um render properties and you want to go to film 
and uh, click on transparent go back into into object mode shift a we're gonna add a uh, plane um, RX 90 scale it all the way up GY to bring it back scale it up even more um, instead of white I would say honestly do maybe like um, a black so bring this down to um, black and the uh, bring it all the way up to the uh, metallic and once you have this all you want to do is shift a we're gonna add a, um, a camera and it's very simple um, click and to go to, uh, to open up this tab right here the transform tab go to view um, uh, click on camera to view and you want to just zoom out like so I would say somewhere around there and so if you want to get a pretty cool effect I, what I like to do is I like to go to the uh, camera properties right check in the depth of field click on the link and um, you want to bring you want to play around with the f-stop so I would say maybe somewhere around here now also once you have your chain made that you already know how you want it just you can apply these modifiers from, from top to bottom and so basically now um, when you click on your camera and you go to the uh, camera uh, properties depth of field select on your Cuban link and you play with the f-stops you'll be able to have something like this and if we render this out and we go to render and render image it's gonna take a couple seconds and let's see the outcome of it all right so the render is pretty much finished uh, you could you could actually appreciate the uh, details the diamonds inside um, and yeah this is pretty much how to do a Cuban link in blender I really hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please make sure to drop a like down below comment if you have any questions about it and um, subscribe if you're new new to the channel Turn on that bell notification button and I'm out.